like the yellow opal fruits or what is it so. called now is that the wee is that the wee sookie ones that you get in a tin no 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 they're square and they're um they're like not chew it longer <laughs> oh oh like light like the same texture as a malam what's a malam <laughs> Um, my name's Rachel. I'm Jen. And we are the Grail. Yes. And we've got a very exciting new whiskey to try. Can anyone guess <laughs> what it is? It's not any of these. Yes. <laughs> oh. Our Garden American Batch 3. Or to give it its proper name, AD slash 04.21 colon 03. I think that just sounds delicious. Appetising. <laughs> Cool. So we poured out a wee sample. This is the first Arden American I've tried, but it's not the first one you tried, right? I have tried batch one and batch two, but a while ago now. Lots and lots of hype about this distillery. And whereabouts is it? It's in Arden American, Rachel. Do you know if that is north, south, east or west? I think that is west. Well done. <laughs> it is. It is it actually is. the most westerly distillery on the mainland. It says, so is, it, is it on a peninsula a bit? Argamarkin Peninsula. Oh! It's on a wee single track road, so it's quite hard to get to. Um, but yeah, they built it in, when did they build it? About, I think it opened in 2014? Yeah, I think that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. But, and owned by Adelphi, who are obviously quite mm-hmm. a well-respected and older um, bottling company. Yeah, and they were called Adelphi because they're named after the founder's grandfather's distillery, which was the Adelphi Distillery. Um, uh, in Glasgow they say they're they're Scotland's green distillery and so they have these like recycled recycled um, cardboard which I think is really cool because I hate when you buy a whiskey and you have like a really like tinny yeah yeah recycle that either can you no these ones you can just put in the recycling or if you're um, a whiskey by the bonfire, you just put it straight in the bonfire. So it's not a cast strength thing, it's just 46.8. 46.8, yeah. It is made up of peated and non-peated. Yeah, 50-50, peated and unpeated. And then it's been matured in 65% uh, ex-bourbon casks and then 35% ex-sherry casks. Whiskey's from 2014, 2015 and 2016 in it. Um, so there is a QR code on the back. I don't know if you can see that there. And you'll be able to scan that and it tells you um, like how it was made all along the way. So what are you right. getting now? I'm getting kind of, it's like quite honeyed. Honeyed, I'm getting like like cinder toffee. Mm-hmm. Apricot. So did you oh, like the previous batches? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah. I did really, really like lovely and fruity and like quite a like thick creamy texture to them as well. Like the flavours are light, but the texture's heavy. Yeah, like a viscous, a viscous. You no, know, like a mortlach. Yes, yes. That's what I mean. Like it's got a, like it's got, it's like weighty. It's got like a heaviness to it. Mm. Mm, getting like apple, like a uh, apple, um, Jolly Ranchers. A wee bit of spice, like a wee bit of cinnamon. Yeah. But it's all quite like well balanced and like subtle. Should we say a, a slange of and just go for it? I feel like I'm almost like, oh, don't want to taste it in case I don't like it. <laughs> slange? I'll try it and I'll be like, boom. Oh, yeah. slange. Oh, it gets like sweeter, more vanilla flavoured and like but mm. a, wee, a few of those wee kind of like spiky bits. Do you know like when you're drinking whiskey and it goes a wee like, oh, 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 mm. and you're like, oh. Mm-hmm. Like it makes your mouth water. It is making my mouth water. A wee bit pineapple-y. Good, good shout, man. Good shout, definitely. It's got that... It's got that kind of flavour. Do you like pineapple? Do you like pineapple eats you? Um, fizzy. Like fizzy on your tongue, yeah. Like opal fruits. Mmm. A wee, like, a wee a scrape of a raisin. Not a whole raisin. Yeah. You, just, <laughs> you cut it open and you scrape it over the top. The peat is not in the taste very much. It's really, really soft. It's really soft. It's like birthday candles. When you blow out the candles and the smoke. It totally is. It totally is. It's got about that waxiness to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it better without water. I liked it better without water. I'm going to cleanse my palate with some without water. That's, that's... Cleanse your palate with some whiskey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you could probably sit with that dram for a while. It's quite complex. Yeah. But it's, I like that. Like more and more, 
I drink whiskies and the more I, I really like younger ones because I just think that's so tasty. If you've tried this, especially if you got it from us, um, let us know in the comments what you think. And if you agree, if you don't agree. Mm-hmm. Um, and also maybe what should we try next? Yeah, let us know what you think we should try next. Yeah, Slange. Nice. Slange. And we nice. hope you enjoy your Ardemarkin if you get one. Thanks for joining us. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media at The Grail Dune to keep up with all of our latest news and visit our website www.thegrail.scot. Slange, and see you oh, next time. No, 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 they're not like a, they're not like a bar. Oh, I see what you mean, Truett's, but longer <laughs> like each one. No, 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 they're wee squares in paper like Truett's, but the, the packet is longer and they're yellow. Opal fruits. When did they stop making them? No, I think they still make them, they're just called something different. Starburst! Starburst! Oh! <laughs>